infinite user G the foreign gamer uh, has a mind fart brain fart he's trying to update a child object based on old child object fields whenever one is created grouped together by a parent object super confusing had to read it a couple times to get through it um, and I'll give a presentation I guess on what it actually is I think it can be done in flows pretty cleanly and it can probably be done in process builder and fields as well um, and as always it can be done in code regardless so um, this quick diagram to show what's going on and what they're requesting so um, they have an object B that is a parent and they have an object A that has a bunch of fields and a status which there can only be somehow they've enforced that there's only um, one status in here for um, you know if it's active so any object that gets created that's related will always be active um, at any given time so there will only be one active object A at any given time so if a new object A comes along and it's A.2 what they want to do if this will come back over all right, well that's completely messed up but these fields will be blank here and they want to take the fields from here and bring it over here and mark this as active at least that's what I'm gonna be doing you can tailor it to however you want but uh, this will give you the general concept of um, you know how to do this type of stuff with flows if you want to do like object relationship looking uh, looking up so just a little bit of setup here uh, let's create a, an account this is called Jedi and let's create a contact on here and let's call this master Yoda and I'm gonna be using the title as the um, status for this I could create a status pick list that has active deactive and anything else that is needed but uh, in here let's go ahead and just use these fields department I'm gonna call this uh, master Jedi I don't know. and we'll pick a birthday the oldest one we can get because supposedly he was super old and then let's save this so uh, from here let's go ahead and create a flow this will be an auto launching flow which is very important because we're going to call it from a process builder and that's what we'll use to trigger the process uh, for this the first thing we'll need to do since we're triggering this from a process builder uh, the process builder is going to ask for some information and that is the variable um, new contact ID and we're gonna make sure that it's available for input so we're gonna be able to get it from the process builder it's gonna be a text and we'll leave it blank in the beginning next once we get that uh, ID passed into us from the process builder all it is is an ID so we're actually going to need to get the new contact so we're going to say get new contact and let's create variables here to store this in condition it's going to be based on the ID Oops. equals the bar new contact ID that we just had and then we're going to store this in a contact variable new contact got a message Okay, store that in the record, contact, save, make sure to select it down here. Cool. So uh, one extra thing that we need to do here is make sure to get the account ID. Uh, and that's what we'll use to look up our next section, which is getting whichever uh, contact is actually created. So in this situation, Master Yoda has the fields filled out. Uh, I think he had like department and birthday filled out. So when I create somebody new, let's say uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, 
Um, and I would probably default your pick list, whatever pick list you're using as status, I would probably default it to active. And, um, you know, these two fields are need to fill in based on what Master Yoda has in here. Actually, his, his, uh, his department should be Grandmaster. Just to be silly. All right, so uh, what we're doing is we are going to get the old old contact. And this is equal to the account ID and their title, which is our status field, needs to be active. And their account ID needs to equal the new account account ID and then something else that's really important is that the contact ID cannot equal the new accounts ID and what this does is since we're only selecting one specific contact um, we're excluding the new one that just got created since its status will it will meet this beginning criteria here. So we want to uh, take it out of the choices that we have here. Call this far old contact. And values that we need from here are the old contacts. We need the department, all the values that we want to set and the birthday cool let's wire some of this up next we will need to do an assign one little got it you gotta get it just right there we go we need to do a little bit of assignment uh, to these uh, values so we're gonna be transferring dice ball right? transferring from old to new so whatever we want to update is going to be on this side and whatever we're getting the value from is going to be on this side uh, we're going to be setting our new department Let me just copy this and we're going to be setting our new birthday we are also well I'll skip to that in a second Do equals here old department and old birthday for our um, old one we need to set it to false or not to false we need to deactivate them so deactivate eight that looks about right and then we need to update these records. So we could probably put them in both in a, um, we could probably put them both in a, what is it called? In a collection. But I'm being lazy. When you do this in production, when you do the assignment, you should probably put them both in a, uh, in a collection, do the update once. It's just, it saves time. Um, and it doesn't count against it doesn't count as two transactions two DML transactions all right all right all right save here uh, this is an auto launching flow and um, transfer contact old to new Put a good description describing you know most of the process that you have going on here and then make sure that this is auto launching at least for what we're trying to do here um, another key thing would be to test it out so i'm going to save obi-wan go to his record grab his contact id and i see that both of these are are blank here and what we want to happen is for these to get transferred in um, and then we'll, we'll hit up the last part of the process, which is the process builder. So I'm in the debugger, going to paste in the new contact ID, which in this case is the old B11. Hit run, see what's going on here. Um, so it 
this is the flow the start of the interview this is the one that we passed in uh, over here it is saying that we let me zoom in for this a little bit so the start of the interview it's saying that we did find the record for the new one uh, this is when we did the fast lookup to find the uh, old record and then this is the transferring of the values and marking it as deactivated and then an update on both of these guys coming at the bottom here so if we go to Obi-Wan refresh we can see that he has been changed to Grandmaster I wouldn't say that he is now Grandmaster and then for Yoda he is deactivated these fields stay the same but his uh, his title did change so now to finish this all out let's go and activate this flow sync it up with the process builder and then we will be done let's call this looks like I have one in here contact main trigger uh, record change we will do this um, this should really only be on on create we'll do it yeah we'll do it on create for right now you can figure out the logic behind uh, whichever way you want it to get done and then title equals active so anytime that a new active person which I said this is why you want to default it you could have title is blank or whatever but somehow you have to make sure the values are in there um, just so that this triggers properly I'll call this active and then we very important we will select our action to be a flow and then call uh, contact transfer flow just to be descriptive auto launching flow the next very important piece and why we had to make sure that our flow value was uh, input the variable new contact ID is available now and we will pass in our uh, is a record ID, contact ID, contact ID. Save, activate. Now let's watch the magic happen. So Obi Wan is currently the only active child object in the scenario. Um, let's go ahead and create another one, and hopefully the fields will transfer over. Very important this is why we would default the field uh, make sure that whatever value that we're using as a status is turned to the correct thing that triggers our process builder so on this one it's uh, that being active so we can already see here that obi-wan is deactivated and let's click on our Luke record and the fields transferred over so um, that's it uh, thank you for, I guess, getting this far. And, um, you know, we did solve this problem using uh, Flow and Process Builder, so no code required. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend the, the fields way, and then I can probably do another video if you really want it on how to write the triggers on this. So thanks for watching.